Right, today I'm going to share what I'm actually getting rid of Easter decor. Um, I have got a few pieces that I have purchased, like wooden items. What I would say is not fussy, if that makes sense, or more neutral. Um, I have got a few bits and pieces around our home already, um, but um, my videos um, I've caught up with basically as I said there was a delay um, due to um, you know going to the caravan and everything but they've practically caught up and I have probably missed two days this week in between due to the fact that I had a fall and I fell on my back. I have got um, like a back brace on to support my stomach and my back and pillar so all I've been managing to do um, since Wednesday this is the first time I've actually got dressed <laughs> since Tuesday um, I've actually um, only been doing my basics and cooking a meal and even a lot of different things um, I've ha needed help with but I have done a little bit so um, I practically um, caught up on my queue um, so I'm not actually sharing what my Easter decor is because I've done that a few times but I will say I've emptied one bucket brilliant this one here you can see that's full that's everything I'm actually getting rid of plus I've got a couple of little question marks this is what's been happening um, because I'm one of those people even though I'm in a lot of pain I still feel as though I've got to get something done I spent two days on the sofa with a sleeping bag basically except for the basics so um, yeah so I know a lot of you that watch my videos can actually um, you know understand because you got um, you know medical problems illnesses and pain so you can understand so I've got a pillar at the back here it's quite better for me to actually sometimes to lean against something so um, my movements are very stiff and I think um, but I'm trying to still carry on moving about so I've got one empty box there I am thinning it down and yes I did say I bought a few bits in new this year um, which I've shared from the range I think in total four new pieces I like to say in total because I bought one when I was in the caravan the wooden pieces I'm loving those but the more fuddy duddy things I think I'm getting rid of as I have toned it down I do have a large box which I think you can just see um, if I can tell um, that's just out of shot which is a really large box and this one right so the things I'm going to get rid of I'll transfer them into the empty box as I said um, as I show you so I've got this one um, these are going to our granddaughter um, her parents so it's one of those little um, trees I think the tree was a pound and then the little eggs were a pound so I'm letting those go I have brought oh yeah and that was another item talk about eggs was the two lots of white and black sort of colored ones that you can color in got those from the range um, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those yet so I have got those, I just remember when I said about that. I have got lights. I've got a couple of those type of lights. Um, I've got this rabbit, which Hubby's going to check to see if we've got a watch battery to put in that, because I'm sure granddaughter's going to like that one. Um, some of it's quite um, safer anyway. We've got this one, which is like a polystyrene um, check. Um, I've got, these were from Avon, they're two um, Easter chick egg holders, um, kept them in the boxes, I don't know how many years I've had these, but I never used them as egg cups, just um, a little bit um, of a tweet. I used to put um, tea light in those, just a thing, so you don't 
necessarily have to use it for the use it's supposed to be always think out the box and that's what I do when I'm out and about very often so I used to use these um, with tea lights so there's two of those they are going you might notice that a lot of the yellow stuff is going I've got another one again I use that as a tea light holder um, I have got this one hop this way let's go in got these rabbits um, this is something that possibly will be going um, kept it a couple of years now it's the ring toss contains inflatable bunny and three inflatable rings um, because that was bought I think two years ago um, when obviously every time it came to Easter the last two years we went into lockdown this tin, I'm going to put some sweets in um, for our granddaughter. She used to love playing with this every time she came at Easter time. And the chicks, I got this originally from the um, charity shop. So again, you know, put some sweets in. Um, that. Um, this one got a chip in, so that might just go as rubbish. Um, it's just got another one of those um that's just the extra cover for likes some of these don't stand very well so that's another lot of lights there this is the easter basket that i think i'm going to use for our granddaughter this year obviously it got cancelled last year um i never got my um other one back that she had the first couple of years um she was born so I'm going to use that one so that will be leaving our home as our Easter basket this year I'm sure I purchased one for her um, but I'm going to get rid of this I normally have this in my cupboard I've got a lot of stuff in there I have put a little wooden tiny um, pink um, wooden rabbit that I got from Amazon in there as I will show you and I think they've got them again this year the gonks the little mini gonks for easter they get bringing those out for the different seasons um i got this soft sort of rabbit i think that probably was a pound and one i've got this other rabbit this wooden one um this is going to go um normally i have that with a nail polisher little stick or a few chocolates for myself but i'm going to use that for somebody else so that will definitely be leaving our home um and then i've got this one this one was a big question mark i got this from the charity shop years ago and yes it's sweet rabbits with the eggs and everything but that might not go to our granddaughter's home that might be going to someone else's that I've got the spoons for the egg and spoon race I've got these unicorn eggs um, this money box which is said I used to have it on the shelf because you couldn't if you have it on the shelf you can't tell that's a money box and the white rabbit I've kept so I'm getting what rid of one keeping one this is another tin although this will be kept but i might use this for the um you know egg easter egg hunt so um yeah that was a charity shop as well i think i paid something like 49p for that and this will be used as well and so i can say that's going um so i'm hopefully i've got enough tubs and baskets that I don't need to get any and I can use all these so that's those so they go in so that's that now I've got a few things on the floor that I've got question marks and uh, thinking about it now I'm thinking about um, possibly just getting rid of it so it's these and I've had these so many years this was birthdays um, and it comes with the um, this one particularly has got all these little um, eggs carrots um, rabbits and things I don't think you can see very well but uh, 
yeah there are all these little tiny things i'm going to decide it um i had it stood here for a couple of days i'm just going to let that one go i've got about four trees in all and um three or four the other one is this one um i got a question mark on this one at the moment um it comes with these eggs which i'm keeping at the moment because i don't know whether to take the ribbons off and make a little um because i've got some wreaths small wreaths that i've got on sale or clearance um over time so i don't know whether to take these little bits off you know and um put them on a wreath glue them on a wreath so i've got a lot of those but this one i may keep hold of at the moment um put it in a black pot possibly yeah because white black or cream um and use it possibly for my white and black eggs as I say i'm toning it down so i'm keeping that one at the moment and then the box here i can move everything across so that's going to go i'll put that in there for a minute so some things i've got over the games room and uh, I did say to my son I'll get round to it but he said don't worry about it mom I know because he knows that I haven't felt too brilliant so yeah one of the items I'm not sure if I'm going to put up or not it's very messy and I think you can use hairspray bought it last no it wasn't last year it was a few years ago now it was i think three pounds i don't think it was five i think it was three and i think they are back in this year is this um so i if anybody can tell me but i think i've he um, heard like um you have glitter things at christmas you spray it with hairspray possibly but the thing is all over the carpet you can't really tell but it's all these little ball things these um have come off um so yeah i'm not sure about that one i've pretty much put out i think what i like so the other one is this one a very big box you might just be able to see it's quite big this is where the bigger things going in some of these have got question marks on so i am keeping this one i love this one this came from tk Maxx. i had thought about giving it to a granddaughter the only thing is i don't seem to be getting them back now so i like this one but also it's got all the different eggs in and some of these like these i will be doing some gifts um does hold something like a nail polish um, a lip gloss and things like that little chocolates so i will try and do some um gift ideas um easter basket ideas and things like that i've hopefully got ahead this year because i know for fact i haven't done my um tour until like good friday or something and also um decorating like a couple of days before easter even and to tell you the truth it's pretty much done i've got my eye on a couple of bits um but i did that a few days ago um before i hurt my back so um yeah so that's probably a keep the other basket i've got well the other tree i've got is this one so i'm not sure which one i'm going to keep i'm only going to keep one of the trees um and then tilt this up a bit i've got a lot of things still that i got from pound world when it closed down and because easter's been cancelled the last two years i have still got all my dishes plates napkins and stuff just put that there so I've got all my, we are planning third time on a truck, hopefully going to have an Easter buffet. So I've got all those, so I, I don't need anything like that. These ones, I'm not sure, again, are these Poundworld or something? I'm not quite sure, gift boxes. So I'm going to definitely, I'm going to get all this stuff used this year, um, hopefully. And I do have things like these, you know, little treat um, bags. 
I've also got my cake case set here. So a lot of these I'll be transferring it into my canvas um, sort of um, bin, um, the stuff that I want to use. I do have a few of the um, gnomes, as I said, the gonks. Um, I'm sure they are in Poundland again this year. This is the sort of thing that I mean um, makes a good gift. I think I might got this one from Hobbycraft. That makes a good gift. And I've done quite a few of filling these up with little treats and things. I've got another gonk here. And I've got this from the charity shop. There's the bottom. Because it's sort of um, neutral, I'm keeping that one because it's sort of an off-white. And this is the money box one. But because it's neutral, I'm keeping that one. I haven't put those out yet. I've got these sort of things that I got from Tesco's years ago that were about 10p each. I've got a couple of these left. I don't know if they've got them again this year. I thought these were really good and um, I've got the grey one actually in our main bedroom. Um, I've got that one. Um, I'm not sure if I showed this gunk. I probably did actually. I know I've got a few. The pink one's in our, um, my cubby. I got this tin specifically to put treats in. Not sure if I'm going to use it. I paid a pound for that from um, charity shop and i've got some of the i've still got some of the um sort of nests and things like that and i think that's about it and i've got these woolly little chicks that someone at the community center knitted for me so oh yeah and i've got this one i've kept because um my son and daughter-in-law have not got a garden so this just says to the bunny trail um hop hoppy easter this way and i thought in case we have an easter egg hunt if weather's permitting um out in the garden so i have got rid or will be getting rid of quite a bit so that it's not exactly showing all my um decor pieces to start with but i mostly wanted to um share what i'm getting rid of what i'm keeping as i said that's that i might just have keep all the eggs in that crowd and I've got things like this that I can use um, for the Easter basket so hopefully I might not necessarily need to um, purchase anything keeping the costs down so I said a lot of this what I will do is I'm trying to say to myself use it or lose it this year on some of my decor um, and I'm not sure about that bunny yet, um, whether that's going to go up. I might do it. Um, I haven't used hairspray in years and I'm not sure if I've got any. So I might have to go to Poundland and get some um, spray. Um, not sure about glue spray actually because I think that would make it, you know, too sticky. But these sort of things, as I said, I'll put in a canvas bin so they are ready. But I know for a fact at least I will have one empty box, um, which I think is a good result. Well, probably equivalent of one and a half um, boxes of stuff to go um, because tastes change. And I'm trying to be strict with myself. And I did say if anything came into the home, the equivalent, especially if it's decor pieces, has to leave. And I've more than done that. So um, I've still got my eye on a couple of pieces. And I've got that egg um, bunting as well um, that I was given from Carol. So and I'm sure there's a couple of other bits that I've got to check in one of my boxes where I keep my gift um, pieces to see what else I've probably picked up after the season last year. So I'm going to bag all this up and I think it's going today. We have got our granddaughter um, for the day today. So I'm not quite sure um, how much we're going to be filming but hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.